Well, how's it going, Kingsman? Welcome back to another NTW3 battle. This is another battle between the clans. So we have uh, Rhinebund versus Napoleonics on Friedland. They have the cores. Um, can't remember the uh, the what cores exactly they are. Um, I just realized it once I uh, started looking at it. I was like, oh shoot, like. Um, I believe these are historical cores, if I'm not mistaken, for Friedland. Uh, some of the comments can correct me, and, uh, you know, I need to start doing more research, so I apologize for that. Um, but, anyway, let us go over the cores, the, the generals here today. So, on the French side, we have a 12-point Davout, um, a 9-point Ajuro, 6-point Bernadotte, and 11-point Lanz. Taking them on is the 6-point... El Stock or La Stock, maybe La Stock. Uh, Twelve point Bagration, eleven point Hohenlo, and a nine point Duke Torov. So two Prussians and two Russians here on the field. High points, guys, on the field. Man, like 12, 11, 9. French side is a nine, eleven, and twelve. It's just man, talk about a lot of heavy packing punch armies. Now you can see the Prussians and Russians have some cavalry. There's some Russian skirmishers here. They are not giving this up without a fight. Obviously, a lot of skirms from Bernadotte pushing forward with some cavalry as well. Um, this may be the place where the coalition hold. Um, the Russians and Prussians kind of have a little bit of a screen with their cavalry. But they are shifting mostly into this central area. Maybe they're going to use this river as a defense. Maybe this other Prussia is going to defend that left side. Who knows? I guess we'll see as time moves on. There's some very powerful armies rolling down this, this uh, left flank here. Which is going to prove very interesting um, for the Coalition. As they will have to uh, prepare. And on the Coalition's right side is, of course, going to be the level point Lons. Look at this French army, though. They are so ready for some fighting. And then you have what looks like mostly light infantry for this Azuro. Carabiniers as well. But a lot of light infantry. They do have some horse artillery set up. Horse artillery is quite a fun... Uh, yeah, they're their fire. Maybe trying to go for some cavalry. More artillery set up over here. 12 pounders. So the guns already starting to range down this area. Lon is entirely moving here. Shifting his entire army. Looks like they are focusing this one area. Two armies plus one area, two armies. Looks like consolidation um, is kind of a priority here. Now we do have... Well, I thought maybe they were going to push up the attack. With some Russian Dragoons. They're going to fall back. You can see Friedland in the background. Church steeple, very prominent in the horizon. In the sun. Oh, man, guys. It's almost like you can almost smell the grass. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. That was disastrous. And Russia is going to be forced back. The The plan that the coalition or the uh, Imperials seem to be doing is using their artillery to force back the coalition and let themselves have an opportunity to uh, push with impunity, forcing back any mass of cavalry. And I do not think it's actually the historical cores for this uh, map, so I apologize if I, you know, <laughs> didn't know it, didn't 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 do any research on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but there is quite a lot of cavalry for the coalition, and remembering these cores, um, the Imperials don't have the cavalry; they have the infantry though um, to deal with the coalition. But they will have to use their cavs sparingly as they have very limited amounts of it. Mostly Hussars and Chasseur Cheval only. I don't know if they even have Dragoons, to be honest. It's But like I said, the infantry is pretty good. And the artillery is pretty good. So uh, we'll see how they use their superior infantry versus the Coalition's superior cav. Yeah, Davu pushing up on this right side here. Looks like he is uh, got some artillery. He's going to set up eight pounders. Skirmishers out in front. 
I don't think the Prussians have really focused too much on this side. Um, be interesting to see where Azuro goes. Looks like they are actually using this river kind of as their their left flank as they start pushing up. I do not know if the Prussians have anything, but if they do push, guys, it could force, it could jeopardize the whole flank of this defending army over here. Well, you can see quite a lot of, oh man, oh man, that looks beautiful. A lot of French focused in this one area. Consolidation seems to be the key here for the French, at least their strategy so far. And I have seen a lot of cavalry just getting absolutely shredded by the Imperials artillery pieces and it's just gonna become a hell on earth for a cavalry man on this field today. I can I can already tell. And there we go. The army is set up, formed up, and now is advancing. Oh man, look at that. A couple thousand men all advancing in a field. Sir, oh, sir, our general is under attack. Alexander is going down, but it doesn't seem to be impeding the army from advancing. Oh, we have horse artillery pushing up as well. Now ah, we start to see some Prussian infantry. Um, so Prussia may actually be uh, taking this fight. Now this may be the 11 pointer. Got some uh, fusiliers or some uh, musketeers, I should say. Looking for the grenadiers if they have any. More light infantry gonna be pushing up. So Prussia may take this fight. I guess we'll see momentarily. If they feel ready to, maybe they have reinforcements pushing up as well. be a fight in the wheat field maybe this is not the level pointer though this seems kind of small of army maybe they're purposefully trying to draw the French in but the French seem unconcerned yes, oh man the light infantry gonna push up maybe gonna try to get a volley or two off Uh, did they even hit? Okay, they killed one or two people. Skirmishers are now going to set up, start shooting up this Prussian line. Oh, we have cavalry as well. Nope, they're going to fall back. That was a wise decision. Oh, man, things are starting to wind up as we look at the overhead view. Russian infantry forming up in a line here. The French have pushed up on this left flank. Now artillery is starting to really rain down fire on them. <clears throat> artillery totally on the flank, firing directly on the side. It's a tough place to have uh, artillery hitting your line. That can cause maximum damage here. More artillery up in the front, so I mean the French either have to move very quickly and just go on a vicious attack and obsolete the artillery very quickly, or um, you know, it looks like they're gonna go for it. And you can see more Prussians though pushing over here. We have some grenadiers now from Prussia. This is an 11 point. This looks more like 11 point Fran uh, Prussia. More cavalry as well, so we definitely are seeing a lot more reinforcements. We have some cavalry pushing forward as well. Maybe gonna go for some skirms. There's horse artillery sitting right here. Obviously, he's pushing up his cavalry as infantry is going to start shooting here. An overview, guys. This is a very hot engagement. No Russians on the left flank. Maybe we're seeing the first general pushing over. Maybe we'll see some Russian infantry pretty soon here. Horse artillery got sniped. Um, we'll see what Alans and a Bernadotte do. Maybe they're going to push over and just have a huge fight in this open field here. But so far, it's kind of hard to tell if uh, Prussia is set up in a good spot or not. Looks like France is going for the flank. Ooh, that's a that's not a good uh, angle here. You can see here. There we go. Prussia needs to reinforce that flank quite a lot more. At least have cavalry there as well now. If we look at the squareables, there's one over here. 
Artillery though set up, oh man. Artillery set up in the center line and these Prussian lines are about to get hammered by some round shot to start reeking up, racking up, wow, can't even talk, racking up the kills. Oh my gosh, yep. You see it's punching holes in that line. Man, what a consolidation of so many troops in this one area. Now you can see France are definitely focusing this right flank. They have a skirm screen that's just putting up in front of their infantry. And they're pushing up line infantry. Now I do see a shift in cavalry from Prussia. Got some dragoons, got some some across the air, some lancers right here in the in the foreground. They are shifting stuff over because they realize what France is trying. That left flank is being threatened. Artillery even going to make life a living hell for this Prussian army. And I do believe we actually have a slight engagement here. Now, if Bagration, the 12-pointer, is over here, hopefully he's here by himself. And he's going to defend the left side or the right side by himself. And all three of the armies can consolidate in this area against France because they are going to need to it's gonna be a desperate. This is going to be a, a, a rough affair here pretty soon here. France getting very close. I sense a melee in the works. But the artillery is just going to become a total nightmare for this Prussian army. Gorgeous battle. I mean, what a place to fight. This open wheat field. France looks like he was maybe going to. I think maybe he's gonna take a slower approach here. He's gotta he's gotta consider all the cavalry that's around. Like he can't just run into this and expect to win. He needs to he needs to be calculated, especially when it comes to squares and that sort of thing. He may not be able to even go for a melee. Um, he may just have to try using shooting only in his artillery. Now, the Prussians have a slight dip that they can hide their cavalry behind and not really receive a whole lot of fire from that artillery. That's exactly what Prussia's doing. They're hiding their cavalry, saving it. Um, this, this flank here of Prussia is not engaging too much. Not a whole lot of engagement either over here. Bernadotte just has skirms. Lons is almost reinforcing, so we'll have three French armies consolidated in this open field. Get some cavalry charging in on both sides. Or actually, Prussia getting just thrown back. Their lancers breaking. I said, guys, the French definitely have some very good quality troops here on the field. But Peter does not like trying to load that many models. This we'll see pretty soon here if there is a. Uh, even even contest I feel like France is gonna get the upper hand pretty soon here they have a lot more troops consolidated in this one area now France doesn't have cavalry necessarily and I'm surprised I'm not seeing any Prussian cavalry charges yet um, I'm sure we are gonna see something pretty soon here even sending cavalry into this skirm screen now nah, that probably wouldn't work no, they probably just die unfortunately but you can see we have Davu focusing almost the entirety of his army you have Azuro uh, pushing in, kind of reinforcing, letting Davu pull back. I I don't like this position that Prussia has, quite honestly. I feel I feel like they're about to get just overwhelmed. Ah, come on. Okay, I gotta go this way, so I'm not trying to catch other models. Another. Now here we go. It's an assault. Looking. Uh... This is definitely a French assault. Five regiments pushing forward. Prussia sees it too, I'm sure. And so he's going to try to react to that. Now we do have more line infantry. Grenadiers pushing forward here. Grenadiers to meet the French.
We do have a cavalry charge going in. Chancellor Cheval trying to reinforce. Oh my gosh. Russia is committing to several charges here. Now the first one does break as they get flanked. If anything, he's trying to slow it down so his Prussians can start shooting here. Let's see what France ends up doing. What is France going to do here, guys? They are going to start getting shot in the face. They kind of have to commit to this at this point. And they're going to lose one or two units. And Prussia's got more and more cavalry ready to charge in here. On both sides, so coordination beautifully executed, breaking one unit. And France, keep in mind guys, not a lot of cavalry for them, so they have to be very, very cautious how they use their cavalry. They do not want to lose it. Russia, though, has cab to spare and is continually pushing it forward here, going straight into the next French line. Now, France can easily get some units on the side and start shooting here, and it doesn't look like they do end up breaking them. But it does look like Prussia is starting to lose this line fight. You see this line starting to waver now, reinforcing Russians. Oh my goodness, Russians on the field here, reinforcing this back line. Just in time as Prussia starts caving to the pressure of this French attack. And keep in mind, this is the 12 pointer. But Prussia seems to be doing okay when it comes to holding this line. But France has taken a little bit of losses, guys. So they don't want to you know, lose that advantage. So it looks like he maybe pull back a little bit. Rest of troops maybe let artillery do some more damage here. You can see... Oh, let's see. You can see the reinforcing Russians pushing up using that small road. Now, over on this side, it doesn't look like a whole lot's happening. Artillery kind of just battering down this Prussia. Um, nothing else opening over here. In fact, it looks like Bernadotte is even shifting over. So we are having one nice, juicy fight. Juicy line battle on this side of the Friedland map. You don't see that happen very often. Usually, there's a pullback towards the town. Maybe a little fight up here. I'm loving it, though. I'm loving both sides. Obviously, know what they're doing and playing well against each other. No one has caved in entirely, but losses have been suffered. Russia looked a little bit sketchy for a moment there, but they had cavalry to back up their lines, and now you can see their line is made whole again thanks to the Russian reinforcements that have pushed up. Now France has a reformed just a little bit. You can see uh, his troops are active. Some of them are. One or two of them winded, but for the most part, they're still in good uh, spirits, ready to fight. Lons is now getting himself involved in this fight, and this battlefield spanning just a small little area, but concentration of force. Um, now, Prussia's not looking too good with their infantry here. You can see maybe they want to pull back a little bit. They're just losing men to artillery. Yeah, the French advancing. Your cavalry, so it looks like, oh wow, France is counterattack. Looks like French, uh, the Prussians went in for a cab charge, and then uh, France countered that, sending an infantry on the flank here. And now Prussia is looking like they may be in a bit of a of a tough spot here. Now they do have some grenadiers on the flank. France can't be too uh, aggressive here. They may run into a lot of reserves, so he's going to pull back. But having broken two lines, looking pretty good. 
look at this line fight. It's just beautiful. Grenadiers in the front lines. Looks like uh, Lons is committing to a bayonet charge here. Russia is going to be called to push forward his reserves. And keep in mind, guys, the moment that this cavalry presents over the brow of this hill, they are going to be focused by every gun the French have. So any fight they do make is going to be... Oh, boy. That's not good. That's not a good cap charge at all. This unit's just gonna start eating up this cav charge. You see more and more cavalry pushing up. Looks like Prussia may lose their general. Oh my goodness, here comes Lons on the flank. Charging downhill into this line with some grenadiers. This is not what the coalition want at all. You seem to be struggling to get the cavalry into play. With such a small, limited field, the river at their backs. And this is spell. This, this is turning a little bit disastrous here. As France is becoming more and more victorious here. And the cavalry needs to commit here. The cavalry needs to charge. Their line is starting to cave in the center. Oh, man. Lons is leading a full-on attack, and it's going beautiful. Now, Prussia needs to utilize their cavalry as best as they can at this point, even charging into the back lines and getting a hammer and anvil on the French. Over here, you see Lons has opened up a gap, and now Davu has gone fully into melee here on the flank. Prussia just caving all along the side. This cavalry now going to be thrown in. Russia is sending in some cavalry. He does have a reinforcing army. Probably, I'm assuming, Bagration. But look at all this French. They've isolated this Prussia. And now Prussia is kind of fighting for their life. He does still have some reserves, but a lot of routing Prussians. A lot of infantry shooting this cavalry. Man, it's just, it's just, it's a rough, it's a rough, uh, rough ticket. Um, as Prussia is starting to mass route, it's going to become more and more difficult for the Prussia to hold. It hasn't totally folded yet, though. Grenadiers from Lons. Here's this 18 man Chasseur Cheval still charging in against the Prussians who are trying to retreat, trying to pull back their lines. I think this Prussia is dead, basically. I think they're they're gonna get trapped in the corner and killed. Um and that's mostly all the Prussia. All that's left mostly is Russia now. A little bit of the Prussians on the flank. And they're still holding. Keep in mind, this French army's probably gonna be very, very tired at this point. some fresh units still. They're a little depleted. Lons has some active troops, but he can start pushing up here. And of course, Azuro and Bernadotte have pushed up as well. Massing of French guns here. Ooh, we 
have cavalry that's definitely gonna get sniped here. Oh wow. Maybe they still will break though. They're gonna break. That'll help out this coalition flank. You have a skirm duel, it looks like. Um, the French outnumbering the coalition though. What a fight so far. Talk about the most cinematic looking fight you've ever seen. Look at the death and destruction so far though. Unreal. Almost like a painting. Yeah, the, the coalition's problem now is the artillery is just extreme, extremely tough to deal with. Now they're trying their best to fire back. All oh, the smoke, you can see all the troops moving with artillery. Man. Artillery trying to like duel out with the other French artillery. Oh, they're getting canistered. Oh my gosh. Now the French don't even have to engage again. They just got to use their artillery and just hit this battered coalition army. And it will be all over. And the coalition obviously don't want to abandon their guns until the guns break, which they may break soon. And there they go. I think canister actually. I'm pretty sure this horse is firing canister. Either way, man. Still a Russian gun over here, um, but it's you know probably sitting back. Uh-oh. Oh, not Bernadotte! No! <laughs> Bernadotte has been killed on the field of battle. Oh, man. The tough ticket. Maybe that's him right there. Either way, a rough time. Talk about a bloody affair over here, too. Look at this. Does look like Davu's kind of resting up his troops. Probably Lons as well. They're letting skirmishing and artillery do the work, and it's doing quite a lot of work here. They're just tearing holes in these poor Russians. Here, knocking or banging on the wall. That's my one year old in another room hitting the wall, probably with something. So don't worry, it's not a door. I'm not ignoring something. <laughs> oh man, this art we're basically just watching artillery compilation of artillery hits. Basically, what's happening here. It's like they're straight out of like a War and Peace movie. Dude, this, this artillery crew is in the thick of it. Man, they are in the thick of it. These guys, they're getting focused by artillery. Trying to do their best.
They're keeping up a good steady fire though. Man, there's still a Russian force over here. I think the, the the biggest thing was Prussia had this line held, but they did not have a strong enough line for the French assaulting them from multiple angles at once. And they had nowhere to fall back from that. They got trapped against the river. And I think that was a huge loss. Oh, there's a French unit just... <laughs> oh, man. French unit has been marching across here. That was the problem. I think the coalition were a lot more spread out, which is a pretty, pretty normal thing for, uh, you know, for the coalition in this time period. They would, they would have this massive long battlefield. And Napoleon, I believe, consolidated his troops and would strike in one area. It's just a huge skirm screen here by Bernadotte. Seems to be working quite well. And the battle definitely has quieted off a little bit. It's not done, mind you, just quieted down. Skirm's getting real close to them. See how accurate these guys are. What? He's getting greedy now. He's getting greedy. Come on, let's see the damage. What the heck are you doing, Lons? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, we have a Skirm v. Skirm. Oh wow, Prussia going for a charge. The artillery kind of smacked into him, unfortunately. Oh, the officer's getting some too. Artillery's inched up even more. This is going to be pretty much a, a stratagem the French are going to deploy. They're just going to keep pushing their guns up. The coalition's going to keep falling back. Now the coalition can and should probably fall back into the town. I believe that is where the majority of the points are. They can hold those. Uh, there's one, two, three, four versus three, four. I mean, they could tie it, I guess. That's the next best thing for the uh, coalition to do is hold the town. They have half the battlefield, battle timer still left to run. Um, and the artillery is not on their side. But also, they fall back in the town. The skirms can't really do their job as well. Yeah, you can barely see the shirt steeple between all the trees on the road. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Man, these are a lot of guns just sitting over here. Holy cow, that's a lot of guns. I, was pro I suspect that was a strategy. The Russians were going to use, the coalition was going to use gun spam, artillery spam. 
It looks like they're trying to counter the French guns. Now, the French guns are probably stuck here. But honestly, they if they limber up, they're going to be focused down by the seven or eight guns. Actually, more like ten-something guns that the Coalition have. Both sides kind of a stalemate, guys. If uh, nothing is happening, they're kind of sitting, shooting back and forth for a while. I'll just skip till the action starts again. On um, that way, you know, you're not just sitting here staring at nothing. So uh, I'll, I'll uh, skip ahead if it's just an artillery barrage. All right, guys. So developments. We have Ajuro. Explosion holding here. Ajuro is pushing his troops across this river here. Uh, Dabu had one unit. Plus Bernadette has some hussars trying to sneak around the town. Obviously, the Russians are ready for it. Uh, but still, they have a small foothold. If they can hold that till these reinforcements get here, they can attack from two sides. Obviously, Russia's probably not going to be too happy about this. Little force here. And probably he's going to send more troops. Or maybe not. Maybe he's going to think there's a lot more troops than there are. And uh, he will just hold this LOC and hope to hold that rear. A rear guard of sorts. All that's happened here is just artillery on both sides is just hammering the other side. Um, both taking turns, kind of firing artillery at each other. Still some Russian troops over here. But yeah, that's that's about it. So uh, that update's done. Still waiting on troops. Looks like some skirmishers actually taking some losses here against the uh, coalition probably canister mostly but uh, that slows down that attack I suspect the Imperials are just gonna go for LOCs at this point um, and then the timers is gonna run down uh, but we will see we will see I will keep you guys posted and updates um, as things develop all right guys so um, it does look like LOCs are being taken, so LOC victory is probably what is going to be achieved here by France. However, they are now pushing in for an attack. Um, they do have a flank. You see Ajuro pushing in on this right side. At the same time, coordination, the infantry are all going to push down. They have this nice little slope. There is artillery that's going to be facing off against them from Prussia. Uh, but, you know, at this point, they have enough LSCs. I'm sure they're not too, too worried about it. And they have a canister being fired by the horse artillery. That's going to start actually taking out a little bit of this Prussian line. Pinares lead the way. Go for bayonet charge. That's probably going to end a disaster. But maybe they can set... Oh, no. Actually... Despite that, they are going to take this. And if nothing else, reinforcing 14th should break the Russian position. Now we do have some Chasseur Cheval going in for the cat or the artillery piece. You see Prussia holding with Russia. It's France, like I said, last ditch efforts. There's about 11 minutes remaining. Another LLC does get seized. France has gotten across here. You have some Prussian cavalry going for it. I believe a Infantry or general, I'm not sure which. And uh, France definitely seems to be folding in on this Russian and Prussian line. Even the reserves are getting hit now by those grenadiers from Lons. Well, they do break them, let's look like. Oh, wow, we have French sneaking in, trying to go for the back lines here, collapsing on Russia. 
may actually start working here. Look at this, squeezing through the houses, going for the artillery and attacking the back lines of this Prussia. And the mass route. Um, there goes Prussia. Whatever is left of Russia is going to uh, probably make a last stand in Friedland itself. What a bloody affair. Oh, man, there's more cavalry? Well, the strategy did not work out too well, unfortunately, for the coalition. Um, French definitely got those angles. Patience. And, uh, patience paid off for them. Just like we're gonna just have a small little fight here in the uh, town. Um, I'm just fast forwarding so that we, you know, can get to the end and see the results here. I suspect the French are gonna take this three pointer and then kind of just hold here and uh, leave it at that. We do have some cavalry that's chart that's pushed in. We have a lot of Russians still in this fight. Um, ooh, okay, never mind. We actually got another. <laughs> As if there wasn't enough bloodshed as already more and more death taking place in Friedland. As uh, France continues to push forward here. Right, we can probably press play again. Russia just mass routed here. And we have the Grenadiers going in for the house. And they take it. All right, well, I think that's... We have killed their general, sir. Now they must... That's basically the game, guys. Um, it's just a little cleanup here and there. So, like I said, I may just skip to the end at this point. Um, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of horses left. Yeah. One or two here or there. But I'm just going to skip to the end, guys, so we can see the results um, of this battle. Um, it's going to be a Napoleonic victory for the French clan. All right, guys, so as you can see on the field, like the French were the victorious ones, the Napoleonic clan. Um, you have Matt Bob. He's playing as Davu, got 29-12 for the kills. Um, casual, um, playing as Bernadotte. 
he got 469. Actually, didn't get that many kills. He had a smaller army, though. Um, Dollar Sign, who was playing as Lons, um, got 1054. And Arjun playing as Azura with 1194. Or 96, sorry. You have Xerxes on the other side. He was playing uh, Lestock. Le yeah, Lestock. And he got 717. Kaj, I believe, was the Bagration. Yeah, he was the Bagration, and he got 993. I am Razor. I am Razor uh, as, uh, I believe, Ho Henlo with the Lum Pointer, and he got 905. And then you have Uzo playing as the other Russia. Got eight, Duke Tarov with 820 for the kill. So, hey, almost 1,000 kills still. Um,. And actually, there was pretty low kills for the French, except for that one, uh, you know, that one first melee. I think after that point, after that first initial clash, it kind of every both sides kind of were just trying to play tactically to win. Obviously, as you would in a tournament game, um, and it proved to be quite, uh, quite awesome. I loved that 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 initial uh, charge it was pretty cool. So, but anyway, guys, that'll be it for me today. Thank you all so much for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it was it was a very enjoyable battle to watch. Looking forward to a lot more of these clan battles. There's a lot, a lot of them. So I'm just kind of sifting through them, grabbing those. Grabbing them. I mean, maybe I should do every single one. Who knows? <laughs> but either way, guys, um, you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, I will catch you all in another video.